one common ultimate question is, where did human life come from? And further, what is the purpose of human life? This video will explain Hindu beliefs about the creation of the universe. There are a range of different Hindu traditions about the making of the universe. We will explore only some of them here. There are many different accounts of the creation of the universe in Hinduism. There are different sacred scriptures, written at different times and in different places, which tell different stories. The Rig Veda, the first scripture of Hinduism, is quoted on your screen explaining creation. The same scripture also gives another account, saying that the universe was created out of the parts of a single cosmic man, whose body was sacrificed, and the four classes of Indian society come from different parts, priests from his mouth, warriors from his arms, peasants from his thighs, and servants from his legs. A different sacred text, the Chandogya Upanishad, states that the creation of the universe was the breaking of an egg. It also states that Brahman produced the entire universe, heaven and earth, seasons and harvests. Another account in the Vedas says that the Creator built the universe with timber, as a builder builds a house. The key account of creation includes the Trimurti in their roles as creator, preserver and destroyer. Brahma, not to be confused with Brahman, is the creator, Vishnu the preserver, and Shiva the destroyer. The traditional story of creation with the Trimurti begins when there was no time, no heaven, no earth, only a dark ocean. A giant cobra slept on the ocean, and inside its coils slept Vishnu. An om sounds, filling the space with energy, and waking up Vishnu. From his navel grew a lotus flower, in which Brahma sat. Vishnu told Brahma to create the universe. Brahma split the lotus flower into three. From one part he made the heavens, another the earth, and the other the skies. Then Brahma created all plants, and then all the other creatures. In other traditions, Brahma emerges from an egg to create the world. Because Brahma is representative of the creator aspect of Brahman, the universal god, he is often represented sitting on a lotus. Brahma is said to have written the Vedas, the oldest Hindu scriptures. Brahma is not a common god to worship, and Vishnu is much more popular. Vishnu sustains the universe, and his name means all-pervading. In other words, Vishnu is in everything. Vishnu is often depicted as lying down or asleep, as you can see on your screen, as he awaits the destruction and renewal of the world. He is shown here with Lakshmi, his consort, you can also see the lotus and Brahma. You can see his conch shell if you look closely, one of the most important emblems of Vishnu. The blowing of the conch shell represents the primordial creative voice, linking to the sacred sound Om. The conch is a spiral which goes on forever, representing eternity. Shiva is often depicted with a blue face and dressed simply. He has a third eye which represents wisdom a cobra necklace which may symbolize his power for destruction and recreation. Shiva is often called Lord of the Dance in Hinduism, the rhythm of which is a metaphor for the balance of the universe. Hindus believe that this is not the first world that was created, and nor will it be the last. There is a cycle of creation like there is a cycle of life. Brahma created the world, Vishnu sustains it, and Shiva will destroy it, only for it to be created again by Brahma. Hindus believe that there are times when the universe takes form 
and times when it goes back to nothingness. Between times of creation are known as the days and nights of Brahma, the creator, a representation of Brahman. Every form of life comes from Brahman, the universal source of all things. Creation is a never-ending cycle. Hinduism also holds space to be multi-layered and infinite. In Hinduism, the created world is not separate from Brahman, God, in a dualistic way. It is part of Brahman. 